Hey, have you been overspending with your service? You really need to take a look at this video to show you how to save big time. It's time to stop the bleeding and start saving money. American rapper Kanye West has been making headlines recently as he mounts a campaign to be elected president of the United States. We've seen a series of chaotic and emotional public outbursts, including during his first presidential campaign appearance, as well as a string of incoherent tweets which he subsequently retracted. Although the journey from celebrity to high public office is no longer implausible, it is tempting simply to dismiss West's outbursts as yet another display of 21st century narcissism. But he suffers from bipolar disorder, so it's important we understand his behavior in the context of his mental illness. Bipolar disorder, previously known as manic depressive illness, involves alternating periods of intense mania, high energy and activity, and severe depression, low energy and mood. Manic periods, which can last days to weeks, are associated with an intense internal drive to be active and inability to sit still grandiose ideas and motivation to achieve big things fast speech that's difficult to interrupt poor sleep a strong sense of oneness with the world irritable or elated moods. When these periods are less severe or shorter, it's typically referred to as hypomania. West's recent public behavior indicates he may have been experiencing a hypomanic period. Depressed periods, which often last weeks to months, are associated with overwhelming fatigue, low mood, suicidal thoughts and behaviors. We also see mixed states, where the person is very active or agitated but simultaneously very distressed. And as the illness is characteristically episodic rather than persistent, many people with bipolar disorder have long periods of being well and productively engaged with their families, work, and wider society. The illness typically has its onset during adolescence, and goes on to affect about 1% of the adult population. It runs strongly in families and occurs equally in men and women. Less severe forms of the illness, often termed bipolar 2 or bipolar spectrum disorders, have less intense manic periods, hypomania, as well as unstable or depressed mood, and may affect a further 2 to 3% of adults. While classified descriptively as mood disorders, it's more likely these disorders represent a failure of the internal body, circadian, clock to stay in close synchronization with our normal 24-hour light-slash-dark and activity-slash-sleep cycles. Some researchers have proposed this failure of the internal circadian system to maintain strong rhythms is the true cause of bipolar disorder. Indeed. Switches from normal daily rhythms to manic periods commonly occur with seasonal changes in autumn and spring, when the day length, and period of light exposure, varies most rapidly. This sits well with recent evidence showing regular exposure to daylight has profound effects on the motor behavior and moods of diurnal, active during daylight, mammals. Similarly, other factors that disrupt the normal sleep wake cycle can precipitate episodes, such as international travel rotating shift work, stimulant drugs and childbirth. But we still have a lot more to learn about what causes bipolar disorder and what sparks the manic episodes that come with it. Can bipolar disorder be treated? Untreated bipolar disorder can have adverse effects on a person's life, including on their relationships and capacity to participate in society. But the condition can be treated. In the late 1940s, Australian psychiatrist John Cade made one of the most remarkable therapeutic discoveries in modern medicine, lithium carbonate. Lithium continues to be used today as a mood stabilizer for people with bipolar disorder.